I'm Seneca Wallace, and I was Aaron Rodgers' backup for one season. Joe Callahan, and I was Aaron Rodgers' backup for three years. Brett Hundley, and I was Aaron Rodgers' backup for three seasons. Graham Harrell, and I was Aaron Rodgers' backup for three seasons. For more than a decade, you've known Aaron Rodgers for football magic. But for anyone who spent any time in the Green Bay Packers quarterback room, Rodgers will always be known for something else. A deep thought person. I mean, some of the stuff that, you know, that he would come up with, and you're like, dude, did you just come up with that just now? If I was going to go to Buffalo Wild Wings and play the little trivia night, I'd bring Aaron, because he would be really good at it. Rogers' brain is put on display each week when one of Green Bay's backup quarterbacks puts together a test that's a little bit unusual. The QB test for a backup quarterback in Green Bay might be one of your most stressful parts of the week. The first half is usually like football questions about the team that you're about to play and the defense that you're about to face. And then the second half, that's that's a little bit more on the fun side with trivia and riddles and funny videos. You really have to, to think about what you're putting into it. Uh, you could get him every now and then on geography or something like that. You know, like history, he's sharpened. He's good in history, good in movies, good in music. And if you stumped him, one, he'd get mad at you, but he'd appreciate it in the long run, you know what I mean? Because he thinks he's a, he kind of prods himself in knowing a lot about everything. Uh, he didn't like losing at all. I really hope Aaron watches this because I think the biggest thing that we had a battle was our body types, especially mine. You know, I like to be very fit, six pack, you know, looking good, trim. And Aaron, his body, body fat percentage was, was through the roof most of the time when I was there. But I think that was the biggest struggle for Aaron. So like Aaron now, you know, if you watch this man, I hope your body percentage fattens down. My rookie year, he invited us over for a little barbecue at his house. And then midway through the night, he broke out his karaoke microphone, which ranks how well you sing the song. Then we started duetting amongst the, amongst the quarterbacks to see who could get the highest duet score. And, you know, that, that turned from, you know, just a fun little barbecue to us competing over karaoke. How was Aaron as a singer? He really sticks to some of the lower notes. He doesn't, he doesn't uh, go outside his comfort zone. And I would definitely double check the calibration on that microphone because his scores seemed a little too high that day. Backups in Green Bay quickly learn that Rogers' interests range widely, very widely. We definitely had some conversations that were a little out there. Well, he's always thinking the crazy conspiracies. And so he's like, hey, what do you think all that stuff is flying behind that jet stream? Do you think that, you know, it has anything to do with maybe why everybody's getting cancer? That's just kind of his attitude. That's the way he's, you know, wired. You could go from talking about football then to talking about conspiracies about, you know, who built the pyramids and, you know, the, it, there wasn't just one subject that we talked about. Who does he think built the pyramids? You know, I mean, yeah, it's, that's a in-house conversation we can't reveal. We can't reveal what we know. This season, a new backup has entered the room. First round draft choice, Jordan Love. And while some viewed the pick as disrespectful to Rodgers, his former backups know there's no better place for love to be. Green Bay definitely got the formula right the first time around with back-to-back -back Hall of Fame quarterbacks. It gave Aaron maybe a little bit extra motivation this year. It seems like he's really on a, a tear and locked in. If you see some of those young guys, he starts to build them up. He might tear you down first, and then he's gonna build you up a little bit, but helps build that character and helps build that team camaraderie uh, that you need. Aaron's not gonna give up that position, I'll tell you that. Jordan will be sitting for a while, but <laughs> you know, when time comes, hey, you know, whenever it comes, I'm sure Aaron will teach him what he needs to teach. Him. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.